So I wanted to do a video today about the getLine method in C++. The getLine method allows you to uh, specify delimiter in an input stream and then assign all the information that's being inputted into a new variable which you defined previously. So I brought up this example page and C++.com again is a great website to learn about C++. This is actually the reference page for that function. So what it's doing is it takes in an input stream, which it names IS in this function's uh, prototype, and then it assigns every um, every bit of information into a string variable, which you have to input here. You can specify an optional delimiter, like a comma or a pipe character or something like that, and then you can uh, say, like, when it reaches one of those delimiters, stop reading the input stream. So let's go ahead and open my text editor and we're going to go and uh, uh, let's see I want to make sure something. hold on a sec okay that opened up waiting for a text editor to load So here is our file that we've been working with. So now we're going to look at this and use the um, get line method to get a line. So what we're going to do here is instead of uh, putting in an int, we are going to also get a, a string variable. So we'll create a string uh, variable, and then uh, so we'll name the variable my first string. And so we'll need to use the string.h file, which we have up here. We already included it. And then we're going to go ahead and ask for that string. So we're going to say get line. And we'll put in the string variable. Or I'm sorry, we need to put do c in. And then the string variable, we want to uh, assign the values that we're passing into there. And so then we can see out uh, my first string is and then here we can type my first string so we can output the value of the thing that we just assigned to the variable so I'm going to save this and let's open up a command prompt um, that one works and I'll do this thing again Uh, users James desktop and we're looking for miles CPP or I'm sorry C++ and then let's go ahead and increase our font so you guys can see it I get that big yep that's fine and G++ or file name which is miles cpp and then we're going to output to miles exe so it looks like it worked so it wants a number and then it, that was it so what when, when did that work um, so I'm not specifying something correctly here. So let's look at their example. So I'm not waiting for something here. It may not be uh, using the same CN as I was thinking it was using. Let's go ahead and compile that one more time to make sure we got the right one. Uh, blah blah blah. So it's not waiting for my input for some reason. So we have to look at this, figure out why it's not doing that. Might be needing a C out statement. Please enter a string. 
and then we'll do get line and assign the CN value of that. So let's just see if that works. So it's not waiting for us to do our input. So that's interesting. Um, let's just use this function then. Maybe I didn't define something syntactically right. Okay. Uh, that looks looks right. Define name, and we'll see our name. So that looks right. So let's compile that. Uh, okay. So don't need this one. Compile it again. So that's interesting. I deleted my uh, CN here, so let's do CN, my first var, and let's see what happens then. Seven. Interesting. So it looks like you can only look for one CN variable here. So that's interesting. So let's go ahead and Google that and see what we find. Uh, can't get input after first CN. Sounds like our question. So he has something where he's creating a customer object and stuff. He's using get line twice, uh, but I'm still getting the same thing, skipping input. If you're using get line after seeing something, you need to flush the new line out of the buffer in between. Personal favorite is if no characters pass the new line. <laughs> So it looks like I uh, have to do this. So we'll get the first bar, and then we'll ignore characters to the next line, and then we'll get the next set of characters. So compile it, and we have a compiler error. It's looking for a max something. Um, yeah, something about limits. Uh, what was the other thing we could do? C and sync. I read a comment here. It's not defined to do that. It doesn't work for me. It will leave a new line that the buffer remains when you switch functions, as long as you're still using C and. If you, the operation is get line it will read that leftover new line and seem to skip getting input hmm let's see what happens if I just don't Add that parameter. Three. So now it's looking for a new line, possibly. So it looks like it got the last few characters here. And get the first ones. So that's how you use get line and see in multiple times. So you gotta ignore a certain number of characters apparently.
I wonder if he passed it no arguments. Now, I could probably speed this up by looking at the documentation, but this is always fun too. So that compiles. Five. Oh, enter your name. Okay, James. Did it work that time? It did. So apparently, you just have to use the ignore like that, and then it works. So that's how you use get line to read in a string of characters and how you use multiple C line statements. So two videos in one. Thanks for watching and like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. You don't have to. I'm not telling you what to do in your life.